Welcome to the podcast. My name is David Shannon, and these are the chats I wish I could have had with someone as I've created life as a full-time musician. If you're on that road and you need a friend or you need to hear the same stories and struggles that you're going through from another human's mouth, you're in the right place. Connect with me at davidshannon.com and let's move you into that space where you're really thriving and sharing your gifts with the world. Let's go. Spotify, Spotify, Spotify. Happy Monday, everybody. We are chatting about Spotify this morning, and I possibly am going to have a differing opinion to you. I think it's great, uh, including all the payment stuff that's going on at the moment. I, I genuinely think it's great. And for perspective on this, I want to share something that uh, Gary Vaynerchuk was talking about AI people being concerned that AI is coming for our jobs. And I love it. He shared, he's like, back in the day, people were saying the same thing about the tractor. Farmers being like, the tractor is going to take our jobs. It's going to take over. And we have witnessed a crazy, crazy shift in the music industry. Um, And we're going to dive into that today a little bit. But I think it is great. There's never been such an accessible path for you to make music, share it, and grow your own business as a musician. Um, And that's what I think people are missing when they talk about monetizing uh, music, is (laughs) I think we have to look at it a little bit differently than this old conversation that keeps happening where the the old model was, Uh, you got signed by a record label. It was incredibly expensive to make and record and produce an album and release it, Um, which now you can genuinely go and pick up, uh, (laughs) excluding the skills of mixing and that side of things, let's be honest, and, and maybe the room and that sort of thing as well. But in terms of getting a really clear quality of recording, you can go and pick up a laptop and an interface and a Rode NT1 and make a full album. Like, this is the world we're now in um, for a few thousand bucks. You can go and do that and put your time into it and (laughs) release it online and for what, $50 through an aggregator um, like CD Baby or any of those kind of combos, um, you can release an entire album available with the entire world to listen in to what you've created. The flip side of that, okay, so back in the day, the record label would fund you. If you didn't have that funding, if you weren't signed, you're, you're not going to make an album for the most part. Are you going to fork out 50 grand um, to make an album and go into the studio? Probably not. Um, And that's the space we were in a long, long time ago when CDs were being sold, um, when that was the medium to produce an album that then that was the only way people could listen to it is, oh my gosh, I was at the show, I got the CD. We didn't even have great global distribution. So if there was a band that toured to your country, if you got the album there, you could listen to them. Um, But like all these things have changed drastically in the last, let's say 30, 40 years, uh, wildly, wildly shifted. And so now I, I find it funny that it's like, and I include myself in this, I've grown up in that change where it's like, releasing music now as an artist, it's like, we only can look to history and be like, oh, that's how they did it. But yeah, that was 40 years ago. <laughs> so why, why am I a fan of what Spotify is doing? There's two things. It's never been easier to create, release, make your music, share what you want to with the world. And I am a terrible example of this. If you go onto my Spotify, uh, I haven't shared anything in a long time. It's part of why I've been doing this tour at the moment. 
is I needed to kind of kick myself um, to get out there to create, to just share simply what I've been doing. And as I chat through this this morning as well, it's like I need to do the same thing with Spotify. Um, and that is create, share. Now, it means if you're going to do the best recording you can, uh, you know, within whatever your budget is, whatever your restrictions are, you'll still be able to create and make and release music, whatever level that is. Now, the different factors are, what's, is there something about the song? It's the same, same thing. Are you marketable? <laughs> is the song marketable? Is there something that connects with us when people listen to it and tune in? Um, or are you just going to do an, you know, maybe it's not that great. And there's examples of this, right? Where there's been a big marketing budget and things behind it. And everyone knows some of those songs. Um, I'm not going to mention specifics you'll have something in mind i'm sure but the flip side is even if you're doing a really good quality recording you've set yourself up you've um maybe you've blocked out the windows on your room you're in the cupboard at home there's a lot of really good recordings that have been done this way um with i've talked about it on some uh, some youtube videos and things like that as well but the flip side of this is anyone can go and record a new album. Um, I could genuinely get my guitar and just riff and record it straight into a little interface, mix it nicely or, or not nicely, have absolute trash songs and just not in a nasty way because I've made them up <laughs> on the fly. And maybe there's some gems that come out of it, but. I could make an entire album every day, just me, and release it. So the flip side is, in terms of that being accessible across the globe, YouTube has the same thing, like, I don't know what it is, it'd be a staggering statistic, millions, billions of hours of content quite likely uploaded every day. Um, same with Spotify, <laughs> it's, it's an oversaturated market in terms of being able to release music, but it's not oversaturated in terms of being able to build a business, build a brand, use what's there, use their access. You have access to everybody in literally pretty much every country in the world. It's what you do with it. And the game has just changed and I, it, it grates me. I get frustrated when a, because it's just complaining, um, <laughs> which <laughs> I don't tolerate well for a long time. Um, none of us do. But secondly, it's just like, that is the deal. This is the deal we have is you now have access to everyone around the world and you will get paid something for it, which is amazing. Um, you won't get paid for it if eight people listen to it or under a thousand people listen to it um, around the world. I think that's fair enough. You've got access to reach them. Um, if, if your song's getting under a thousand plays because it's just not generated any interest, you haven't put any work behind promoting it or the quality is bad or the song is bad, I think it's fair enough that you shouldn't get paid for that. <laughs> but even with a song under a thousand plays on Spotify, by being able to release it, you could have great marketing with that song that means maybe you sell merch. And this is another thing that's come up now that we have access to as musicians, whether we use it or not. There's print on demand stores for merch that mean you, again, you're not forking out hundreds, thousands, of dollars for merch to have the stock on hand. You can set up a store, create your designs, work with someone, do a collab with a designer for your next song, single release, album release, and you can set up a store, and I will put some in the, uh, in the show notes for this, but you can set up a store at no cost to you that profits you 
and the print on demand company only when you sell an item. So if someone thinks your item is cool, amazing, they buy it, great, you will get paid for that. If they don't, this is the downside of being an independent artist. You, no one's holding your hand, no one's saying, here's your record contract, here's your deal. It's saying, if people dig it, if you've, if you've connected, you've engaged, and people dig it, they will likely buy your merch. They will listen to your song. They will connect with you. Um, and you can get paid from all of those things at no outlay to you. So whew, I feel like I've got a bit of energy there <laughs> on this podcast, but it's something that really frustrates me. Um, and I just want to share one other little thing because this battery's going to die on my, uh, on my camera right now. So lastly is... Um, the, just just share yourself and and I'm saying this and I'm reflecting back and this is for me too it's like there's there's albums on the way and my tour at the moment has been me putting myself out there this podcast has come from me going I need to put myself out there um, so get amongst it I'd love to hear your thoughts and comments on this but I just think we need perspective the whole industry has changed and we have a crazy awesome opportunity as an independent artist that we did not was not available back when <laughs> CDs were the profitable item in the in the music industry so I hope you dig the chats um, I'll put a couple of links in the show notes and uh, Happy Monday. Appreciate you being here. One more show to go. And uh, it's been a pleasure. Thank you to everybody that has uh, come out to see shows on the tour. And, uh, and for the messages and chats along the way, it's been really, really beautiful. So with that, signing out for this week's podcast. <music>